That will be arguably one of the most memorable moments of 2016 for the people of Brazil. They were waiting, believing to win an Olympic gold medal, and they did it right there in Rio. Neymar, the hero. Okay, let's get on with the show now. Bring you into all of what we'll be doing this morning on the program. Don't just watch. Come, let us play for the love of the game. You can talk to us on Twitter, or channels underscore sports, Facebook channel Life in Sports. You can send us an email, sports this morning at channels tv.com. Football. Get our focus this morning on the show. Football in Nigeria. What a story it has been in 2016. The president of the Nigeria Football Federation, Amaju Pinnick, will be sitting here with us to thrash the issues. We'll talk about football on the program. Sunday Olise, hashtag Olise. What's it about Sunday Olise? Didn't end so well for him and the Super Eagles, but he's going to court to coach a Dutch second division side. Do you want to know more about that team? Walk with us, we'll tell you. Hashtag NBA. What a story that's been for Russell Westbrook in 2016. Ty and Cecilia, they're amazed. I'm not. I said testing for the alien DNA. Let's understand what's going on. 15th triple double? Wow. What a story. Also on the show, the English Premier League. Remember tonight there will be action. Southampton will take on Tottenham. It's always an action packed for the sport. Your 2016 golden moment. What is it about sports for you in 2016? Talk to us. We want to hear from you. What got you talking? Was it the Olympics? Was it the Paralympics? Was it the Super Falcons? The Super Eagles failure to qualify for the AFCON 2017. What is your 2016 golden moment? Talk to us with that hashtag. And then Bob Bradley. What a story for Bob Bradley. Gone in 85 days. Football can be a cross sport, but it's okay. Let's get on with the show now. Talk about Coach Sonny Olise. Um, Tayo Cecilia, good to have our Nigerian coaches taking on offers to coach foreign clubs. More exposure, more experience, and then they will be in tune with current trends. Awesome. Definitely start with Stop Daniel Amokachi, and right now you have Sonny Olise. I'm happy that at least. You know, that super eagles job actually, you know, put him in that limelight. You had of to got the opportunity to actually use you know that he's a UFO Pro uh, license B, which is very difficult to get. He's got it, so you don't need to keep it in your uh, in, in your library. So you just have to, <laughs> you just have to use it and that's what he's doing. But Tayo, yeah. about this club and yeah. everyone has been asking for Chuna to start, you know, uh, from Netherlands and second division side. Yeah. How well will he be able to do that? Because the last game they played they actually lost a three nil. Oh poor st poor start to the season <laughs> yeah. for, for Chuna. Mm. Uh, sit out. Uh, we talked about Swansea the other time not being an ideal situation for someone like Ryan Giggs uh, to go in with a club that is clearly struggling. Mm. Same thing can be said about uh, for China Sita as well. So now they're 18th on the log in the second division in, yeah. uh, in the Netherlands. And uh, you think um, it's not the ideal situation for a coach like Sonny Olise to go into. But obviously, he's taking the job and he believes he has what it takes uh, to help the club uh, you know, stay up. So um, we'll see how it pans out. Hopefully, uh, it goes uh, well for Sonny Olise. But just quick um, profile on Fortuna uh, Sittard. Uh, the, obviously, a uh, club based in the Netherlands. And the second division, that's where they play. 18th on the log, like I said earlier, that were founded in 1968. That's July the 1st, 1968. Stadium capacity, uh, 10,300. So they're fairly uh, big side, yeah. you know, in quotes. And um, we just, you know, hope for the best now for Sunday, let's say. But it's a very, very tough job. It is. I mean, he has managed uh, Belgian lower division also mm. called... Uh, the Vitoire, that was another club he actually uh, coached. But for Sunday, I wish him all the best. All and the hopefully, best. he can actually uh, allow the team, you know, help the team to stay up. If he's able to do that, all the best for him. Mm. Okay? All the mm. best for him. All the I best. mean, uh, imagine if so. he does a, 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 an incredible job with, um, with his team. I mean, he could, he could quickly rise through the ranks. And before you know, he no. start talking about Sunday, let's say, coaching Ajax, perhaps. No, they'll PSG. even come to England. I mean, and then pops up for Swansea. <laughs> it's, it's all love. So, okay, yeah, yeah, we know. Slowly but surely, I'll say. That's the whole line. I mean, you never see him. You never mm, PSV, mm. Ajax, That's you know, right. Feyenoord, all them mm -hmm. big clubs mm -hmm. in Holland. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give him a break. Us <laughs> us coach Sunday only said, we will now coach Fortuna Sittard, the second uh, division side in the Netherlands. Want to wish the former Super Eagles coach all the best. And coach, we're putting that call across to you. Talk to us. We want to know how you feel about getting this job. Let's get on with the show now. Uh, we're still reviewing football in Nigeria in 2016. And you know the story, when you talk about football, mm -hmm. you talk about players, and agents. The issue on the relationship between players and agents continues to be on the front burner. Let's listen to this report on ways a player can be educated in terms of signing a contract abroad. And we'll come back. The president of the NFF will be talking to us. Don't go anywhere. Stay.